The Los Angeles Kings are proud to select with the second pick in the 2020 entry draft. From Sudbury Wolves in the entire Hockey League, Quinton Byfield. The NHL had a historic moment this week in their draft when Ontario's Quinton Byfield became the highest drafted black player ever in an NHL draft. Uh, you know, I don't get too nervous, but, um, you know, I was, I was pretty nervous and, um, you know, really excited for, for this moment. You know, you've been waiting for it all your life. NHL players around the league immediately started to congratulate the six foot four center on being drafted to the LA Kings. Fellow Canadian NHL player Vander Kane tweeted at him congratulating him on his success and the history made. Already, sports media has been asking the 18 year old who has never been to California about the NHL's current lack of BIPOC players. A lot of the hockey players and NHL guys have, um, you know, started off, and, um, you know, I think just with the NHL, and uh, I think they're really moving in a good direction. And, um, you know, I think they're getting a lot of exposure from that. And, um, you know, I'm definitely excited to help out and spread as much awareness as I can. However, just 24 hours after his name was called, the Hockey Diversity Alliance, led by present and former NHL players of color, sent a scathing release out saying they will no longer be working with the NHL because of the league's lack of support on making professional teams more diverse and inclusive. In part, the Alliance saying, Unfortunately, the support we hoped to receive from the NHL was not delivered and instead, the NHL focused on performative public relations efforts that seemed aimed at quickly moving past important conversations about race needed in the game. While we are disappointed, the HDA will operate separate and independent of the NHL and authentically implement necessary education programs and changes to the sport. Exactly one month ago today, we spoke to Matt Dumba of the Minnesota Wild, who is part of the Hockey Diversity Alliance and made history himself when he became the first NHL player to kneel during the anthem. At the time, he was hopeful of the partnership. I am hopeful. The stuff we're doing with HDA, um, you know, it, it's, it's coming. It's, it, takes, it takes time. It takes, it takes a lot of our time as well, you know, where there's long calls and um, stuff that you you got to go over in it and it's little little things but um hopefully those little things that we focus on um, can make a big difference here here in the future in september the nhl announced a number of anti-racism initiatives after criticism that the league went ahead with a full day of games after sporting leagues around the world canceled games in protest of the shooting of jacob blake a black man in wisconsin on august 23rd by a white police officer a request for comment from the NHL was not returned in time for our deadline. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.